Today we're going to be going over the components of a computer, how they go together, and what they do. Alright, so first, the motherboard. We can't really get a clear image here, so let me show you. The motherboard is a, like a green sort of thing at the back, and it connects the vast majority of things in the computer. This is what it'll look like when it... $750. This is what it'll look like when it has no parts connected and just stand alone, right? So next we have the CPU. CPU connects directly to the motherboard through um, a lot of pins. CPU um, transmits data to the rest of the computer, different parts, and basically just tells it what to do. It's like the brain of the computer. Next up, uh, thermal paste. Well, so thermal paste will, it's um, right above the CPU, which is located under this fan, and it's a thin layer of paste that'll conduct heat from the CPU to this heat spreader behind the fan. Then the fan will blow out the heat. Next, graphics card. Graphics card gets um, data on what to play um, from the CPU, and then it puts it onto your screen. It, it, uh, yeah, it transmits this, transmits the data from just like a data to an actual image. Next, hard drive. Hard drive is connected via SATA and Daylo cables. Um, SATA is connected from the motherboard, which is connected to the CPU, and data is connected from the power supply. Uh, get to that in a second. Um, hard drive stores permanent data on the computer, like apps or games or, you know, whatever. And, um, that's about what it does. Power supply powers the vast majority of things on the computer, so um, powers the motherboard via a 16-pin cable, and the power supply via a 6-pin cable, which actually, this PC is old, so this is only 4 pins. Also, normally on computers, it will power the um, graphics card, but because this is so old, the graphics card does not have um, a it's not powered by the power supply because it doesn't really need it. Newer power, newer um, video cards or graphics cards need more power because they're a lot more powerful. This one is not very good, so it doesn't. Um, next is the RAM. RAM, should take it out. Let's get a better look here. RAM. RAM stands for random access memory, which is more or less exactly what it does. It, um, memory for... Also, storage can be called. Um, basically, just stores kind of um, temporary files on your computer that will be deleted upon rebooting. Uh, fans. Fans are needed on a computer to conduct uh, adequate airflow to the computer, or else it may get too hot. Um, so, CPU fan not is not excluded from this, but there are fans across the whole computer, and... Basically, the goal is usually there are fans on up top, so you one intake fan, other outtake fan, airflow goes to the computer, all connected to the motherboard. This is the graphics card, and then under this fan is the CPU, and then behind it is the motherboard, and then this one is the power supply. <laughs> These are the hard drives, and then back. What? And then back there is the RAM. I can't see it though. Wow, that's a really good job. <laughs> Hello. I am Will. <laughs> this video is about RAM. I first let's take a deep dive into the concept. Wow. What a beautiful component. Oh! Don't worry, make sure not to touch the bottom, as you may damage it. Safest to hold the RAM from the top. As you won't damage any of the pins, and you have, um, 
Yeah, you, you won't damage any of the pins. This RAM is very good, so it doesn't really get any hot. Very hot. Modern RAM, though, gets quite hot. Ow. <laughs> and has a heat spreader at the top of the RAM that spreads heat throughout the RAM to maintain a lower temperature. Mm. RAM is often green on the inside. However, most companies nowadays put a plastic over it to conceal this mm, ugly green look. Mm. I wonder why it has a little notch here. That is so you don't put the RAM in the wrong way. The RAM have pins that they go into. And so if you were to put this pin on the wrong side, ah, eh, 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 the RAM wouldn't work. So they have little notches here and here to make sure you put it in the right way. When installing RAM, you're gonna to wanna to push on both sides very heavily. Make sure to give it a good push until it clicks. That's how you install the RAM. In 2016, we had a spike of pricing in RAM, and it was very expensive. However, nowadays, the price has gone way down, and RAM is now an affordable computer component. What do you remember about the RAM? Uh, it gets hot, so most modern RAMs spread the heat throughout it, so it won't get as hot. Excellent. Uh, and it has a thing. A notch. A notch. Thank Why? you. <laughs> so that you'll put it in the right way. So that it works. Um, most modern ones aren't this green. It has like plastic over it. Uh, and then if you touch this bottom, you could damage it. Potentially. <laughs> this is a laptop, but... You might not recognize it at first, because it's only the bottom. But if we... I didn't realize this was there, but... It... Under normal circumstances, this would not have aliens on it, and it would just be the bottom of a laptop, but we can see the common brand name, HP, here, proving that it's a laptop. So, what I'm going to show here is that even though... They're both vastly different in size. They are all not so different from each other at all. I'm gonna point out the parts in order that I did on the computer. Right? This is the motherboard. Right now it's in an L shape. A contrast to the square on the computer. Next, the CPU. This one is a little different. CPU is under this, and instead of it being right under the fan, it actually, the heat sink moves all the way over and then puts it into the fan and the fan blows out. The reason the laptops are so loud is because there's usually an entire keyboard over this. So the fan is blowing into like the top and it's only going to be able to come out the sides here. So it's, the air is coming up and out. So it, it's not, it's not breathing into open air. Next, I think I did the RAM. RAM, also a little different in laptops. Let me actually take it out. Um, it's a lot smaller. 
like half the size of uh, normal RAM. But um, it functions more or less the same. Usually it, it's a little worse at performing, but uh, oh, I mean, it, it serves the same function. Laptops don't have a graphics card because I mean, some of them do and they can be a little wider actually if they have a graphics card. This one doesn't. Um, the graphics, some CPUs can integrate graphics. This and like just the graphics card is basically built into the CPU. This one, I think the, it's not a card, but the graphics are, the, this is a Intel kind of integrated graphics, but there's no CPU. So it's just like a graphics chip. Uh, next, uh, laptops also don't actually have a power supply they have a battery and that's why they can um power supplies they have to be plugged in at all times and but batteries they're batteries so um the power supply is actually in the um there's like that in the cords of laptops is like that big brick that's actually the power supply and that has to be plugged in at all times to actually put, go into the computer and, and then it'll, I don't have a battery in this one because it's been taken apart. But yeah, um, this it's similar to the hard drive except it's a lot smaller. It's like three fourths the size. Um, it's not. Yeah, it, it serves the same purpose except it's just a little um, slower and often these smaller. They're called hybrid graphics card, or hybrid, they're just called hybrid. Um, they often are uh, a lot more money for less storage. You know, I'm a bit of a starting teacher. I'm not completely prepared yet for the uh, real world. So, can I get some feedback from you? I don't know. The, I think the last approach was the most normal take on it. At least the strategy. But was it engaging? Um... I don't know. The last one was the least distracting. Um, I think had the most like it was still compressed information but like it wasn't very goofy which helped holy shit I thought I broke my phone okay <laughs> thank you